And I got things things are, are getting magical mm. in Times Square. David Blaine stopped by the studio recently to see if he could fool us with some of his favorite tricks and illusions. And you at home can play along with the first one that he tried out on us. So take a look. Michael Strahan. You scare me every time. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. David Blaine's first trick, one for everyone. So play along. So think of something that you like to have for dessert, but not something you'd order in a restaurant like tiramisu, something you might have at your home. Okay, okay. okay. Take the last letter of that dessert food. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, with that letter, can you think of a U.S. president whose last name begins with that letter? Mm -hmm. Yep. Take the second letter of the president's last name. Okay. Think of a color that begins with that letter, but like in a Crayola box of crayons. Hey, hey, Michael's hey. Michael's own box of Crayola crayons. What color were you thinking? Why do you want to know? Well, because <laughs> then you're going to take it out of the Crayola box. No way. Indigo. Indigo? That's what I was thinking. Indigo? Stop it! No, Wait. I'm not kidding! Take, hold on, take the... Take it out. What are the odds? Take, look, look, take, take it out. Take the color. See, there's one. Let them see. There's one crayon. <laughs> oh take it out. No what? way. What? There's no. There's no way. Indigo. No, no what I was way. Thinking. What just happened in that room is insane. I am blown away and slightly terrified. And then David and I took the tricks to Rob. How's it going? Holy smokes! They're playing. Nice. Cards disappearing right in front of our eyes. Look, my hands are held. So I'm gonna get rid of everything. So I'm gonna get rid of all the spades. No, we'll get rid of here are the clubs. So I'll get rid of the clubs. Then I'll get rid of the hearts. See that? Then I get rid of the diamonds. See that? I just got rid of everything. The whole day. Unbelievable. Next, David tells me to think of a card. Don't say it. Now Rob's up. You take anyone out that you want. Take it out. Let them see it. Don't let Michael see it. Good. And put it back. Put it back. Good. And if you stand right next to me here, good. So here's the idea. Maybe if Michael's here as well. Yeah, yeah good. Why do I like feel that. like he's making this trick yeah, yeah. up as he goes? Hold, hold the deck tight. Press. Okay. No, with the other hand. Okay. Tell him where to cut. What do you want it, babe? Cut three quarters of the way down. And the car jumped out of the deck, folding in the air. And it landed under your watch. Turn your wrist over. There's a card under there. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, geez. What? 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 That's a card I don't. <laughs> you were thinking of a card, but you never said it, right? Do you card was it? Six of spades. Appreciate it. You, but I, you, you brought him into my dressing room, and I every, did. like I said, every time I see him, he scares me. Yeah, there's, a, there's you an element look of fear. On your face when he's around. But and he's so soft-spoken, and he will yeah. never give it up. He will not tell you how he does it. And you're so focused, and you can never get it right. And then I asked for my box of crayons. There was a new box, all gone except for the one. I said, "Where are my crayons?" They go, "They're, they're, they're they disappeared." I'm like, "David, where are my crayons at?" <laughs> so. He, your he said they disappeared. Crayons was full. It was absolutely 100%, full, George. 100%. 100%. So I asked him, he said they disappeared. So David, after I complained, sent me nine <laughs> boxes of crayons. So, gotta say, thank you to David Blaine. And another thing, how do you, how do you say the name? What do you call this? Crayons. 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 Yeah, yeah. Crayons. crayons. Well, we have a lot of our producers, Sarah, my producer, a lot of the uh, younger generation backstage, they call it crayons. Crayons? Crayons. Yeah. Who called this crayons? You do? You say crayons? Crayons? I don't know, crayons. I usually don't talk about them, but. All right. Well, that's a big debate around here. That, that, I'm getting told debate. I just said cranes. Crayons. Yeah. I think that. We got plenty here for you. You got yes. plenty of here. I'm going to pass them around. We got so many, but yeah. And if you. If you want to check out David, he is doing a live tour. It kicks mm. off on May 6th in San Diego. Wow. Tickets are on sale now. Believe me, it is worth the price of admission to go check him out. He it is just that, that good. Thanks for taking on that was very sweet of you to this too. All right. We have an extraordinarily talented guest to bring to our breakfast table. She is starring in the powerful new film. It is called Disobedience. Please welcome Academy Award winner Rachel Weiss.
Welcome. Thank you for this film. Oh, thank you for this film. Thank you for your oh my interest. gosh, it's just oh absolutely the strong roles. But where are my manners? Congratulations, <laughs> you and Daniel Craig, your husband. Yes, yes. Bond, yes. James Bond, yes. expecting. Um, oh, baby, I am. I <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, thank but you. congratulations thank on you. that. Thank you. It's very kind of you to. Say How are so. you feeling? Feeling pretty good now. I was feeling very dodgy for oh. about. Three Three, no, four months, but now I've got the the good bits kicked good. in. Mm. Good, great. You know the good bits. The good bits. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it only gets better. So, <laughs> I, How I, do you know, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have four now. I didn't give birth, but I know it gets better. You have four. Yes. Uh, uh, as Robin said, thank mm. you for disobedience. It's it's this film that is uh, about these two strong characters, a forbidden love story. Um, you produce, you star. Mm. Why was this one so important for you to get out here? Um, I was really wanted to tell a story about two women in relation to each other. It could have been about female friendship. Uh, so I was reading lots of books about female friendship. It always ended up being, I mean, there may be some other books that I didn't find, but it always ended up being the women like getting into fights over a guy. And I was like, no, this isn't the story I'm looking for. So I ended up finding lesbian love stories, like women in relation to each other as lovers, and this story is set in a tiny community in North London near where I grew up. Um, it's an Orthodox Jewish community where to, the wow. spirituality is a beautiful thing, it's nourishing, there's a beautiful community, but if you're gay, you can't express your sexuality. So it, it's a rich place for a story to be told, and the woman who wrote the book, Naomi Alderman, she grew up in this community and then left it and came to live in New York, a bit like my character. Mm -hmm. So she's writing from the outside, looking back lovingly on the inside, but mm. there's, a, there's drama because oh, yeah. uh, Rachel McAdams' character and my character are not free to love who they want to love. Kind of in the same way as like Shape of Water, different genre, fantasy period. Yes. But it's like, how can you be free to love All human who you beings want? in this yeah. case, yeah. though. All humans. <laughs> Absolutely, all humans. I you understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. You guys want to see a little bit? Yeah, Please. thanks for pointing yeah. out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but they, they called you Ronnie Curtis. That's my professional name. What was wrong with your real name? Krushka, you should be proud of it. Artists change their name sometimes, don't they, Moshe? That's right, Fruit. Yeah. Well, women, women change their names every day. They take their husband's names and their own history is gone. Ooh, wow. wow. Yeah. 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 We're, not, we're not used to seeing Rachel play characters like this. And she said she could not pass up the opportunity to work on this film and to work with you. How was it working with her? Oh, she is just so touching in this film and she makes a huge trance. It's mm -hmm. the first time she's played English. Mm -hmm. She had to become an Orthodox Jewish woman and she didn't know anything about the religion before she had to do a deep immersion. And she's just, she's wonderful to work with. She's soulful and vulnerable and strong and intelligent. And yeah, yeah. she's pretty heartbreaking. She's yeah, and she, she nailed is. the accent too. I think completely. <laughs> I can vouch for that as a Brit. Yeah, she got it down. And, but I got, so you've yeah. played a wide range of characters over the year. I mean, really incredible characters. But if you had to pick one character from these different time periods that you've had an opportunity to play based on their fashion, what would it be? I'm gonna give you the, the examples. In the mid 1800s, like uh, my cousin Rachel, yeah. Or you have ancient Egyptian, like The Mummy Returns. Or the 70s, um, The Lovely Bones. Ooh. Based on fashion, which of those characters um, It's got to be fat, just based on fashion. I'm mm -hmm. making this clear. It's the 1970s. <laughs> a pair of flared jeans, and I'm, I'm happy. The thing about the other ones, it's all corsets. So it takes <laughs> hours. It's painful yeah. for the ladies. We no, don't no. like it. We, no. I like to put on a pair of jeans and, and go. Okay, you made it easy. Yeah. <laughs> we, Tommy, could you bring Speaking out? Speaking of fashion, Speaking baby of fashion, fashion. We have some baby fashion for you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> because you don't know if it's a boy or girl, which I agree. Yeah. 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 Little onesies for you. Oh, oh thank for you, you. and Dave. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. adorable. Can thank you. you. A little baby's going to fit into this. I'd, it's a. <laughs> Miraculous. <laughs> Thank you. That's and adorable. And we want to congratulate yeah. you again. Congratulate you on the pregnancy. Congratulations uh, on the movie Disobedience. And Disobedience is in select theaters on Friday. Rachel Weiss, everybody. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime.
We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.